Hello everyone, we have something new today. Welcome to my first gaming video. And we're going to be playing Sim Airport. I thought you might like this game because it's very relaxing. I find it very relaxing. <laughs> and it's a tycoon game. It was created about three years ago. It doesn't look extremely modern, but it's very relaxing. Let's see, uh, we're going to do the career mode. We'll start with kind of the, the default settings. Actually, let me show you what it looks like when you start with sort of a pre-made map and I will explain the game a little bit and then maybe we'll go back and create our own airport from scratch. So, as I said, this is a tycoon game. It was created by LV Game Dev Game Studio. Uh, let's pause first and take a look. So the first thing the game is showing us is some government grants and what this means basically is that if we want to get some free money we need to have some uh, fulfill some requirements. For example, hire some janitors, install some beans, uh, have a kitchen and a cafe, and build five stores and two first class lounges. Mm, cool. And let's see how we can move up. All right. So let me show you how the game works when you should start. All right. So the first thing I should explain is that we have a building here. Oh, that's a, some weird floors. And we also have some areas. So everything in this game is kind of defined by these areas. Here, for example, we have the street and we have some a place where people will be dropped off, picked up, then some spaces for delivery and storage and a place for garbage. And we'll have buses and trucks circulating here. If I unpause the game, oh, there you can see how they're moving. Well, let's pause because we don't want to anyone to miss any flights. Then we have the actual building and there are two main areas here. One will be this lobby or hall where we have the ticketing area, baggage claim area and two restrooms, the security um, passage, two more restrooms and the gate agent, I guess. Uh, it's missing some chairs, I think. <laughs> and then we have a, get a small gate, sorry, and the runway. And the runway is already like installed. This is like the taxiway, taxiways? Maybe, taxi. let me see if I can find it and tell you what it's called actually. Uh, construction, taxiway, Ooh, I got it right. We have taxiway and we have the actual runway. We'll be able to add more of those in the future. But for now, it should be enough. This is the size of our map. And we don't have any visitors yet because we don't have any flights. But before we start planning, now that we have a quick overview of what this could look like, I think it would be good to just go back to the main menu and start a new map from scratch. Okay, we are back at the main menu. Um, I'm tempted to show you the airport I already... Let's see if it loads the airport I made. We're not going to do something like this, I think, unless you really love this game and you want to see the whole thing. <laughs> but, come on game, come on. This is <laughs> what my, <laughs> my favorite airport looks like. Oh. There is a problem there. Never mind that. So, yeah, quite different from the other one we have seen. And I don't want to spoil too many things, but there's a big security area, lots of waiting areas, eating. Oh, and there are actually two floors. I forgot about that, but I don't remember how to go to the next, to the, the top one. Well, oh, here. No. Well, we will see when we get there. <laughs> And let's go back again to my menu and let's start a game from scratch. So new game. Uh, we can change the map size for now. We will start from scratch. Yes, with one million dollars in career mode, because I think it's more fun if we have some challenging challenges and we are going to have some government grants to help us get off the floor. Li literally. <laughs> yes. OK, now. Here we go. Welcome to Team Report. Some of the things that we had seen in the previous um, loading of the game are still there, like these zone, zones. I said areas because I don't want to say zones because I can't pronounce it very well. So we'll call them areas. The deliveries, the storage, the pickups, drop-offs and garbage. Now, before I mention some of the grants and how they give you money, the ones I was showing don't actually give you money, the ones I was showing before. These ones do, and there are lots of different ones. So we were looking at passenger experience, and what they do is give you rewards. But 
if we look at basic airport, then we can see, for example, that if we have a functioning ticketing and security zone, gate and runway and baggage claim, you will be able to get uh, $2,000, oh, no, $100,000. That's not bad. Okay, so we'll pause the game and let's take a look. Oh, there are some interesting... Oh, can you hear the cat crying? Hang on, let me get Bruno. He wants to play too. I should actually get a Bruno cam. So you don't have to look at me. I have a face for radio, like some would say. But Bruno is very cute. Okay, let's see. I don't really remember how to do this well, so let's explore. So here we saw that we have different types of roads, walls, foundation. Okay, so we'll start with the foundations for our airport. And uh, we don't want to start too big, but I want to make sure that I'm actually kind of in the middle of them, eh, more to the bottom of the map, because I want to leave some space for the runway. And we don't want to be too close to the road, because I might want to do something else. How much money do we have? Uh, this up there, oh, one million, all right. So that is 10 by 18 squares, maybe 10 by, oh, 12, eh, 12 by 18, and the people can walk to pick us. So, as I said, this game really likes having these areas or zo zones. <laughs> and if you want to build an actual um, oh, play, give me one second. I don't know how to make it. Why are people not really moving? Why is nothing moving? Uh, so the buses are coming. And oh, there is the supply truck. Yes. Okay. So. We need the materials to create this, oops, sorry about that, create this uh, foundation and it's coming in this truck, I assume. Let's make it go a little faster, go, 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 go. And it, I'm guessing it will go to deliveries, yes. So let's take a look at our first activity for the airport. We got some amazing, <laughs> oh, hang on, don't know if you could hear that, but there was some noise around me in the house. All right. Ah, <laughs> sorry. I'm not going to edit this video. My pony videos are all edited. This is going to be all improvised. So the next thing is going to happen. So we have our work people. Can we hire more stuff? Yes. Let's hire more stuff. Let's hire five, at least five workers. And they're going to bring the concrete to our foundation and start building and I love this because even the workers have to also take the bus and be dropped off at the airport I think maybe we need more people but I don't want to spend too much money I mean time is money but you know all right what what are they doing they're waiting for more concrete probably oh there you go we have started building like I said the sprites are not particularly good maybe we should keep the zoom out <laughs> treat this more as a blueprint type of game all right let's make time go faster so we can build all the foundations and then on top of the foundations we have to build the walls because the foundation is just the floor or well like its name <laughs> indicates it's just the foundation and what do we need we have so we have the fences oh that's important because we don't want anyone to get into the airport without without our permission so maybe we should start building let me pause that start building a fence sort of around here oh that's expensive but we definitely need to keep our airport um protected maybe it doesn't need to go all the way there does it maybe we don't need a face fence on that side yet just yet I'm thinking what's the best way to do this we can't install the windows yet we can't do the walls but we can do a sidewalk maybe let's plan where our door will be so i think we can keep the layout similar to that default layout we had we had seen when the game loaded we'll have our luggage um collection point there our ticketing over there so maybe the door should be around here oh there so we have the zebra crossing a sidewalk and we'll have the door he here hopefully the door is too squares i don't actually remember what else oh moving walkways i would install those everywhere 
And come on, my dudes, finish building. I think once they finish, things will... Oh, there we go. Oh, I remember now. So every time you build a foundation and you do it this way, like you give it more than two by two blocks in dimensions, it will actually automatically build the walls. So what we need now is a door. So I can see the window. Where is the door? Oh my god, so many things. Um, let's see if I can search for it. Door. So there's a large sliding door or a sliding door. Let's pause again. Mm, oh, what happened? Oops, oops, oops. Let's do a sliding door. How do I rotate? With an, pressing R, we rotate. So a little door here. And maybe because I really like um, symmetry. Let's do another door door there and another little sidewalk we might change these areas but not yet I think we still want everyone to go in and the people that go out oh maybe we can have a different door down there too like a door here for people to exit and go to the pickup area so as usual now the truck has to bring the deliveries and the builders will build it here's our very nice fence here's our sliding door pack <laughs> and we should start planning where our next fence will go let's see it's comfortable to write this oh there's also an outdoor gate that's interesting don't think we need no one right now let's do a big fence all the way up to there that way all of this area is now secure and people can walk freely on this area because once we have the security passage then um things will start to look very different let's see we want another foundation because we're gonna start building our security yeah so we have the tickets in here maybe security could go somewhere should we make it mm, trying to think if I want to have it like this that seems very small though but we will start with a small uh, excuse me for my thinking out loud let's do something like this that will be our secure area and then we'll start with the hole so we'll do one hole 18 I think that's the same size as that yeah and we can start working on our zones so let me wait a little bit and um, now everyone's bringing the walls okay concrete let's start working on the foundation can't go faster than that so we'll have to wait and in the meantime, maybe I can start working on the zones. So, like I said, we have some different zones that we need to have in any airport to, for, in order for it to be functional. We got baggage claim that at this point, it will just be workers dropping your luggage on the floor. Not great, but should do for now. And we need tickets. So ticketing, basically where you do your check-in. I'm going to make it quite big because that also needs to cover some of the um, um, queues for ticketing. And I'm thinking maybe, do we need a wall here? Or maybe we just remove the wall to leave the security area open. Oh my god, I just remember we also need toilets. Hmm. That's okay, that's okay. Maybe the toilets can be down this side. Which means we need more foundations. I don't think we need the fence if we have the toilets. Let me see how many we can fit. So we can fit... Oh yeah, that's good. We can fit two of them, actually. We'll have to do the wall in the middle. And then we need some little doors. So it will be one there and one... Think, think, think. There. Yes. <laughs> there we go. I'm not sure if we can do the zones already. Like... So we said this will be one, yeah, female, and then we'll have the male here. Don't worry, this is very red, very alerty, but it just means that we need to add some furniture to this area for it to be functional. You will see soon. And let's also dismantle this wall so we can have our uh, connection. And the reason it doesn't let me dismantle that one is because this one still hasn't been built. So once that is done, then I will be able to do everything else. Okay, I can see already that our money is going down because the buses are charging us, even though they're not bringing anyone. 
Oh, and now we still have to... Oh, I'm a little scared about building the, the runway because that's not going to be too easy and I never remember how to do the taxiways. <laughs> but we'll start with the gate. I sense, however, that the gate will cost money not just to build but also to run. So maybe, maybe we we'll give it some time. Oh no, that wall is in the wrong place. No! I will not allow that. We'll have to unbuild some things too. Okay. Let me maybe just pause and we'll have to get back when all of this is built. And here we go. Our basic structure is done and now I just realized that this is one square longer than this. But it's okay, we'll leave it like that for now. <laughs> so this is letting us know that there are some issues here. What are the issues? I didn't really check. Not sure about that there, but well, we do need a security area, which is one of the most important things in an airport. So I think if I do that, that might already. Hello, hello. Mm, I'm not sure. Restrooms. Okay, it's start to start. Time to start installing some furniture. Let's see. I don't remember where anything is. Utilities. No, it's not utilities. Luckily, we don't have to worry about the piping. In this game, I want to show you another game that is all about piping. Oh, we also... Oh my god. I'm, I'm too chaotic, maybe, I think, for this type of game. Um, some stuff. Where is our... Uh, oh, yeah. Objects. All right. We want objects for... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oops. No, where, where is the toilet? I got comfort. I would say that's probably a comfort thing. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, I was joking, but <laughs> cool. We're going to install some sinks, maybe two sinks and some toilet stalls. Oh, I see. We don't have enough space. It should have been three squares. Well, we'll start with just two because this is outside of the security area. I think we should be fine. And maybe, maybe a urinal for the male restroom. Mm, cancel. Yeah. Uh, where were we? Objects. Comfort. You know. And let's go in that direction. Good. And I'm thinking it would also be helpful to have one of these signs somewhere around here. I don't think it has. Yeah, it doesn't have. It only has two positions. Vertical, horizontal. Maybe do we want it when people go in or out? I think... Maybe we have it there before they can go into security. Okay, the next one. We need some security things. We need some um, gate desk ID. Yeah, I'm looking for the reception desk. Let's see. No. Something where you can check it. Oh, ticketing. Ticketing desk or ticketing kiosk. So we have two options. Slightly different prices. I'm guessing that kiosk doesn't need a person to attend it. The desk probably does. But let's see. Let's start with the basics. So we want... Hmm, let me think. Because we will have to have conveyors at some point taking the... Like, oh, my, look at that. I wasn't planning that, but I'm very happy about it. And maybe a ticketing kiosk for the more tech savvy people. We can do two and something like that. So when you come here, you have the option to use the ticketing kiosks or uh, the ticketing desks. Let's press play so people can start working on them. So the truck should come and bring the things. Um, security exit. I think we might need a little passage for people to transition back to oh, uh, where does that go i don't know when was the last time i played this game but i think it's been it's been a while i'm thinking if we have something like this and we create yet another foundation like that do we want it like that yeah because then we can decorate it maybe that way people go through security into the waiting area and then they can when the plane lands they can go out this way but the security doors here should allow people to only exit. You will see it in action soon. But now, very, very important. We need our gate. So 
Let's try doing a search. We want we want small gate. There is a remote option or a normal gate. I think a normal gate. That is a big gate. And I think it's the wrong way around. How do we know where the planes are coming from? Oh, I think so. Up there is the taxi, and here is the entrance. Hopefully, I don't know. Let's try. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think the taxi will go over there. Let's try. If we have a taxiway, let's say like this. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure why there is a gap here between these two. Well, we will find out. Let's see when once it's built, it might look a little different. Okay. I think I'm saying so unokay all the time. It will take a while for me to get used to it. While that is being built, leave it the plane there. We need some back scanners and some people scanners, I presume. Let's see. Back scanner, x ray, carry on luggage. Okay. Let's try here. Let's do two, but let me see what else do we need because I'm not sure. So we have body scanner. That seems pretty advanced from what I can remember also. And I wish there was a way to, to look at things by zone area zone um i feel like there should be something else that we need in the security what is it what is it maybe i should pause and look for it in the meantime we should have some benches where do we want the benches no we will do that later uh maybe we don't maybe we don't need anything else it's just uh coffee maker no parking lot definitely not a parking lot in the security area um crosswalk Oh, look, that's nice. We can have another crosswalk there. I'm not sure where that... I guess this is a train and that's the bus, maybe. Decorations. Definitely decorations, but priorities. Let's make sure nobody can get in that is not supposed to be in. Hmm. I'm sorry. Food, food, food kiosk. Okay, we do, we do need one of these. We know the desk agent. Let's place it, I would say, people can, so people have to come out of the, the airplane too. Which direction does this go? The monitor is facing that way. Yeah, there, and uh, let's install two. Although this is going to be a short flight, a short flight, a small flight. And I remember there is something called an ID check. That's, that's probably what I was trying to remember. Because before you go through security, you need to um, go through ID check. And we also need another back scanner, which you can't just copy, can you? Back scanner, are we going in the right direction? Yes. And now all you have to do is build those things. So our ticketing desks are ready. We also have to start hiring people. Our bathrooms are ready. We don't need anything for baggage claim. I think we will need some chairs and these poor people have to go all the way around. Oh, huh, right. We need to build uh, the runway that I'm guessing will take some time. So we have a concrete... Uh, no, let's let them build. We have a concrete runway, 14,000 and asphalt... Asphalt? Asphalt? Runway, 10,000. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, let's start... Uh, Oh, wow. So you have to des like design your own runway. I don't know why it scares, <laughs> this scares me so much, but now I'm also thinking we will need a lot of this. So the other game had the runway like up there. Let's do the same thing. Uh, 10? 10 by 80 meters? Oh, well, that's pretty. And it still needs to be um, created. And then we have the taxi. So I guess the plane will go like this way. Maybe we'll go this way. Maybe if we do something like this. Let me think. And when the plane comes back, I'm not sure if we need one on the other side. We will have to see. We'll have to see. And we need a door here because it's making me nervous that everyone seems to be walking. No, we need a little door. Little door there. For people to go in and out. What else do we want? Fuel tank. I don't think we need those yet. 
Mm, we'll have to see. And <laughs> so that needs to be built. We need to dismantle these. That way people can go out when they land. Yeah, let's go a bit faster. Oh, okay, so here it tells me what it's missing. So the security area needs an I oh this is what I was looking for. ID check stand, metal detector, and ID. We got those, but we don't have a metal detector. There we go. So this uses two spaces and it has a directional arrow. Hmm. So my guess is people go through ID check, then they do the bugs, then they do the metal detecting, but it's... Hmm. <laughs> this is not great. It's outside of the area. Should we? Should we? Yeah. Let, let's. Let's. Go right there. Mm -hmm. Maybe not this one. Maybe... See, it only took... Ooh. I have the keyboard behind the microphone, so it's a bit tricky. Uh, there. Okay, that has everything it needs. The ticketing seems to have everything it needs. The runway requires a ton of things. It requires a gate agent, uh, a taxiway path that should be built, a door to the terminal that's being built too, and it must be placed against... It didn't let me place it against the terminal, but my hope is that I can build some foundations here. Huh. There you go. That should work. And we don't need this table, this table, this door anymore. That was a bit strange. But that means we have some more space for future waiting holes. Okay. I will have to build all of this. So again, I'll be right back. Well, that is taking ages. And I think I made a mistake here. But I'm not sure if I should cancel it or not. So apparently it needs uh, taxi taxiways on both ends I'm not sure if this oh, please go away if this counts as an end or if it has to be here and this looks really silly but maybe it's not too bad maybe if we have another runway down here at some point it's good to have this connection because nah. otherwise if I make it like here and then we want to have like a bigger gate here because this is a little one but there are really big ones let's leave it like that for now and while the, they build, there is something very important we need to do, and that's some queuing. Let's go maybe a bit slower, just in case they finish. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> Hello. Do they have names? Do you have names? Rusty. Rusty. Al. The Brit. <laughs> Noble Ferrero. Wow. No, Noble Ferrero or Noble Ferrero. Long Core. These are very interesting names. <laughs> Cues, 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 cues. There is something here called Q. So uh, let me see if I can remember how this worked. That's where the luggage will go. We need expand Q, I guess, because visualize. Mm -hmm. And I think it was something like, it can't be like right next to it. It has to come. Oh, there we go. So I remember doing this sort of thing, but now I'm thinking, oops. No, 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 no. Wait that if I have the kiosks here, I want to have some circulation. So if I start the queue here, what I can do is something like this. And then for this one, we will have a little one, oh, but now they're not even. And this one will go in the other direction and be like that. Does that make, that looks terrible. That looks so terrible. Maybe, I'm sorry. Maybe we dismantle these ones. And we do another kiosk, kiosk, but we put it somewhere a bit more comfy. So where, what is this the entrance? I guess this is the entrance. So I'm guessing, yeah, because you can't place it there. That's the entrance to the queue, which ends there for some reason. So if I have a kiosk here and another one here, that feels comfy. And we definitely need now um, some big signs. Sign, sign, sign. Da, da, da. Flight info display. I like that. This is teaching me like the correct names. So, one, two, three, which means that we can actually have the signs there. Great. Not usable in that position. 
maybe these are not usable in that position yeah these are not usable okay no worries we would place them somewhere else oh we have a big one big one is nice maybe a big one when people come in like there and they're not eh. it's not perfect but it's a new airport and we need another queue for how is our runway go oh okay there is an issue there I will, I will check in a second but now let's do these queues so if i do tuk, 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 mm, 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 mm. these are more important this need definitely need to be longer because this is where people will go into the plane and you know how people are when the plane arrives and everyone wants to go in first even if their tickets are numbered <laughs> Oh, I just realized we also need more restrooms on this side. What's wrong with you? Security zone. Yeah. You are in a security zone. Maybe you are not because you need a wall. Well, maybe. I think I will have to redesign the security zone. I just don't want to erase anything. And then we also need some cues for our security. This looks a bit weird but you'll, you'll see you'll see it's uh, everything has a purpose <laughs> and the other thing we need is a door to the runway and i think yeah that's not bad do we need these city walls probably not so people queue people go in now what do we need for waiting we definitely need some benches we have black big black benches oh these are nice that is not bad at all but we also want let's pause for a second we also want some entertainment right some magazines and things like that i'm not sure i think we might need to create a shop for those i really want to decorate oh there vending machines we can have vending machines where are we going to have them? maybe up here kind of out of the way i feel maybe people won't want to use them oh Electronics, drink, two drinks. Oh, there was a coffee, a coffee machine, right? Somewhere I saw it before. Coffee maker. Sure. Um, drink, drink. Maybe one is big and one is little. Yeah, should be fine. And we said we need some more de decor, comfort, comfort. Blue or black? We don't know. Oh, I like these ones actually. Yeah, I like these ones. Let's start from the bottom. Let's do one, two. Uh, do we want them like this? Because then people can't circulate. Do we have a smaller version of that? No. Then maybe you get cancelled and put you there. That way, you can, front, so you can sit in front of your loved ones and um, yeah i'm not leaving a lot of space for circulating but let's try like that and let's see what else might we need we want some little ones Meh. Nye, maybe not um yeah those are fine oh a big one like that nice nice to look at uh they're building the door okay what was the issue now with the runway runway length too short for any aircraft okay Maybe it could have told me how long it needed to be. So it's 80 maximum cross. Ooh, there's so many things, crosswinds. Um, okay, they will remove that. Okay, okay, okay. In the meantime, we should create some toilets. And maybe we can use this space out because, yeah, it's not really utilized yet. And I'm thinking maybe I can even move this door and have a three by three. Let me think. Three, three. <sighs> yeah, let's. Oh, foundations, foundations, foundations. Three, and then another three. And I can get rid of you. Yeah, I could even make them four by four. And then it will be aligned. Not everything needs to be aligned, she said. Yeah, no. It's fine. I also want to kind of dismantle these ones because dismantling doesn't mean that um, I'm losing the money for them. It just means that they will be moved. And we can even put them like in a different direction. Maybe people can go like up and then down and out. It's, it's, oh, 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 oh. so the drink machine 
needs to be in a functional cafe. That's okay. We will have one soon ish. Um, runway, runway, runway. Uh, was it called Quidia? I think so. So it was 80, 90. Should we do it like that and see what happens? And then we also need to make the taxi way longer. Let's try. Let's try. Mm, what else are we missing? No. Yeah, see, the back scanner is now there. So if we bu build a new back scanner, I think it will just pick that one up. They won't even have to like go get a remote back scanner. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Remote security station. I think they added so many things since I last played this game. So, they did the ID. Maybe if I just put this here, they will have enough space. And the metal detector. Um, we can actually have one, two. No, we can't. Um, but what if I do that? Can people, will people know that they have to go through? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Come on, runway. Toilets, let's do that now. We need some doors. Do, 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 do. I thought they were there. No, they're not. Door. We're gonna have a door here in the middle. Middle. Then we need our areas. Female on this side, male on the other side. I wish there was just a uh, toilet for all, but this is what we have. And now objects comfort we need some sinks everyone definitely needs sinks uh toilet stalls i was actually thinking while i was waiting for the game to load that who doesn't like a toilet stall we don't need urinals do we i don't know i never use one flight info kiosk da, 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 da. oh an atm we can have an atm here so people can then use the machines do, do they need an atm to use the machines i don't think so Shisela, Shisela. And, oh, they have such a long way. They need little trolleys. Ah, uh, I'm thinking now we might also need some kind of uh, transport for, like, the luggage. We will, we will see. We will see. <laughs> what else? We have the waiting area. We have the restrooms. The ones for those people. The ones for those people. These, I know, this looks a bit strange. This, this will all make sense. I should have made, made the airport bigger, but I didn't want to spend too much money. Mm, 85. Let's see if... What else we have here in utilities? <laughs> I feel like we need a baggage depot. But maybe it's only necessary... Oh, there we go. So now it... it, it oh! How is that dirty? No planes have landed yet. It just needs the taxiway to be complete and then it will be ready to be used. 100% maintained and yet... Look at the, those marks. Interesting. Maybe it's the people's fitums making a mess. <laughs> there is something cool here that I remember. We You can actually have furniture for your delivery and your storage. We'll do that soon. But first... Okay, we're building the restrooms. We have everything we need for those. That's ready. This is ready. Is it ready? Runway is ready. Yes. Gate. Gate requires a gate agent. Yes. A door to the terminal on ground floor. Hello? Hello? That's a door. It must be placed against the terminal. Am I not a terminal? Oh, maybe it needs to be here. Well, that's not ideal <laughs> and I can't really move it do I want to? I think it's okay if we leave the terminal there and we just make this bigger because at some point we will want to make the security area much larger so I think it's alright if for now we just prolong this that seems very little maybe like that and that way I think we have the door there, that, that this, and we remove this door, we can dismantle it. That might count as being next to the terminal. Oh, okay. We are now next to the terminal. And all we need to do... Oh, look, there is a clone tool. Sorry. 
<laughs> build, 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 build. That's perfect. We remove that wall and this wall. And now all we need is one of those nice sliding doors. Oops. There, perhaps. And we place another wall there. Let's see. Uh, because at least one... Okay. One gate desk agent. So I think that is almost ready to... We're almost ready to start receiving... Oh, what's happening here? <laughs> I think this bench is not very comfortable. <laughs> okay. Thank you for removing that. So how can I clone? Oh, I see. It requires a foreman with an office. No worries. We can do it the good old way. Uh, bench. Let's see. Not that, that. There. That way. And I feel like maybe we want a little more decoration. I think there is something we can press to see how well decorated our airport is. It won't be very well decorated. This is quite cool. But also very expensive. How much are you? 650 Yeah, let's do that. For now. Like I said, this is not like a graphically fascinating game but it's a very good game you'll see once we <laughs> start getting airplanes coming okay build that now what else do we need what did we say we need some employees okay i remember that first i want to know okay the reason why we have this notification is because we need at least one gate to be functional that will happen soon and i'm missing stuff yeah i know i know we need five uh, stuff, stuff. <laughs> Six security. No, I'm not. Bruno is trying to jump off my lap. Six security, and I think we also need some janitors because that's one of the, the the things we can get paid to do. But let's start with the basics. So that costs ten grand. Then six security. I'm guessing there is one for each ID, one for each bag, and one for each security. Uh, not security. What are they called? Like one, two, three, four, five, six. And I don't know why. <laughs> so I, <couldn't, laughs> I forgot how to count. Uh, what else do we need? So janitor. It says, um, yeah, we should hire janitors. I'm thinking two. Let's start with one. One. And I'm, I wonder if they need some kind of office. They do have the garbage. Oh, what about some beans? Bean. Yep. Yeah, garbage bean. Okay. This is very important. We don't want our airport to be filthy. Two there. Definitely need one somewhere in security. How about there and in front of the toy? Okay, that's it. It feels like it's on the way, but uh, they don't fit in the restrooms. And maybe one somewhere here where people are. Sorry for moving the screen so fast. It's like there is no stone. It's either here or boom in your face. And I think, now that we hired everyone, people should start arriving. There are the buses. Yeah! Hello! Who are you? Um, you don't have a name. Meat, meat Hunter, okay. Chris, what's your name? m &G Airlines is your name? No. Ardell Airport. That's, that's a very convenient surname. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, more beans here happening. We have, we have our security people. Excellent. Francois. Fran oh, I remember Francoise because it's a female, right? I think she might be. Uh, Kieran. Landos, lots of French um, influences. Dan with an exclamation mark. Cool. Another Dan. Oh, okay. Friends, twins. Are you? Okay. Uh, yeah. It's not, it's not easy to see. I have so many things to say about the interface, but I won't because I want to be nice. Jimmy, Lakins and Lion. Lion Lar. I like that. And look at all our work people who we will have to fire now because <laughs> we are not building anything anymore. I'm really sorry. We're going to leave two people. Let's see. Who is staying? We don't know. They are all leaving. You, you are staying. Esther is staying and I think Rusty is staying. The Brit seems to be waiting for his bus and is not coming back. Okay. Oh, there's our janitor. What's your name? Oh, Arthur. Yeah, 
I said hi to. All nice to meet you all. And let's get some flights coming in. Now, how does this work? Are we paused? Yeah. Let's take a look at like what's happening around here. Because I, I think I jumped straight into the game and I didn't really explain much. We have some bank... Ba oh my god. We started with $1 million and we have 63000 <laughs> Oops. Ah, I think we might need a loan. Erlen interest. Nobody's interested in us. Fuel exchange. We don't have to worry about that. What we do need to worry about is getting some flights in there. Flight management. Now, this is probably my favorite thing in this game. And it's this the time timeline, time schedule. Um, because here, when we have more gates, you will see different gates in there. And you can get... Um, well, what, is, what are they called? Flight and then arrange them here and you choose how I will see you. I will see you. I will show you. I'll show you very soon. But now, uh, available flights. Okay. Available contracts. We have, I think we've, if we want to do like night flights, we need some special lights for the runway, which we definitely can't afford right now. So we're going to do uh, maybe like a morning contract and an afternoon contract. Yeah, we also can do PM. Let's see. Aero time signing bonus. All oh, this is good. If we choose one of their flights, they will give us a little bonus. They require a small gate, which we have. And they have three available flights. What is this? Aero time. Aero time is not very good at communicating. Communicating is quite difficult. Um, some fees, okay. It's very reliable, which is good. And it's still not trusted. I feel like this is maybe a new call. And here are some of the, the the airplanes they have in their fleet. Uh, what else do we have? Pacific Airlines. Ooh, they have other things. Fuel satisfaction. They might expect me to provide them with fuel for their Beechcraft and Airbus. Mm, maybe. Afford Air sounds very good, but mm, they are not offering any contract. <laughs> Let's do... And what's the last one? Oh, Starflight. That sounds great. They are very reliable too. They have good fees, I guess. And, oh, uh, yeah. Okay, they're better at communicating. I like this one. Uh, let's pick one short flight. And that's an L, so we can't do that one. And we can't do that one because it's at night. Let's do one of the Aero Time for the evening. They have the same name. They seem the same flight. We the same flight. Now, as you can see, we got one um, thingy, uh, afternoon, <laughs> and one morning flight, but they're quite short. So luckily you have the option to make your boarding a bit longer. And that way um, you guarantee that more people can get onto the plane. And I think, I think we can fit two more maybe. I'm not sure if we should do like one and test it because then we have lots of down now let's let's go for it so we said this is star flight let's do a pacific airline um small morning flight we'll have this one here we'll leave a tiny bit of uh gap there and then we can choose something else union air juno connect aerostar oh six from learnable air and spark jet i like union air because Union is good. And um, yeah, you see, yeah, yeah, sure. Contract bonus 3000. Oh, look, there's also a rating here. I didn't see that. Yeah, I have a good feeling about this. I wonder. So I guess it will be one of these. Only 19 passengers. Or 90. How do we know if it's going to send a tiny. Oh, there. I should have seen that before. So we definitely don't want the Beechcraft 1900 because that's only 19 passengers. It will land very fast, uh, or land the opposite of land, take off very fast. Let's try the bomb Bombardier Dash 8. And yeah, that's an afternoon flight and we place it, whoop, little clap, there. Yeah, from what I can remember, we can't really do PM. Uh, it should say somewhere, but... Anyway, so now we have our flights, we have our airport. Mm, let's see if it works, right? It's the night. It's the middle of the night. We have to wait for the morning to arrive. 
Mm -mm -mm. We might run out of money before the airplane even makes it here. Oh, oh, there is something else we need to assign. Assign. There we go. And assign. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. So we need to assign a queue to the desk, and then we need to assign the desk. Oops. To the gate, and. Mm. I cannot see unto the queue. I think. So that's yeah. They were, oh no, that's wrong. Assign to unassign. Okay, so now we have okay. Assign to the gate. Assign to the queue. Assign to gate. Assign to the queue. Maybe we need to do the same thing with this. Assign to the queue. There we go. You assign to this queue. I feel like the other one didn't work. Oh, it did. Never mind. Don't pay attention to me. And you are assigned to that one. So let's check. Why oh, was it showing? One, two, three. Perfect. I don't know what that what that is. It keeps showing. And we don't need to assign the ID. No. It does have an assign, but oh, requires advanced security. I see. So we probably don't need these queues he here. I think we'll leave them just in case. Oh, was I paused? Okay, it's 3 a.m. So, do you like airports? Do you like traveling? <laughs> oh, who's there? Cambry, you're new. Hello, Cambry, Marsoki. Welcome. And Gravy, Gravy's too. <laughs> also welcome. Thank you for your service. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm not sure what... I'm also not really liking the restrooms like that. And I am very curious about the luggage. How will the luggage be handled? Hmm, don't know. So, five in the morning, let's look at our schedule. Six. What? Hang on. What's happening? Where is our plane? It is 5.54. Oh, because... Now the checking begins, I believe. Mm. Require morning arrivals. Da, 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 da. Change. Oh. oh, I see. So we we got this contract after midnight, which means we need to wait an extra day. Hang on. Let's fast forward. Okay, just a quick. Um, it's still early in the morning. We have to wait the whole day. But... Oh, okay, the alert is just gone, but it said wind conditions were worsening. Imagine our first flight and we have like a storm. I don't even know what that could mean. Okay, I'll be back. And I'm back again because I just realized that we never installed any floors. Look at that. That's not great. How expensive are the floors? So while we wait, it's not, not like we have much to do. I really like these wooden ones. I think the light wooden ones... Maybe we can combine... Oh, no, they're all pretty. I mean, they're not, but <laughs> for for what um, the game is. It can't be over, overly ambitious. So it has to install... Should we make like a nice blue waiting area or just a neutral, very new um, airport style? I feel like... I, I really want to make like this nice wooden... Wooden floor. Let's not forget the door. And da -da -da -da. so that will be green. Let's do also. I feel like the toilet should be white. And da -da -da. I don't remember which wood I used for the other area, so I'm gonna use some dark wood for the security area. Up to there. And all we need now is maybe this. Creamy, neutral, greenish color for our uh, boarding area. Okay. I also realized we don't have any windows. But do we want windows? I'm not sure if we need windows. Do we want windows? Maybe we can decorate a little bit. I mean, there aren't too many options. But there are some. Oh, these are from the... Okay. We can put some flowers outside. Like that. What else? Mm. 
<laughs> I think I should look into maybe some mm, mods for this game. Do you like mods? I don't usually use mods. Oh, I like this. Oh, it's for the inside. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some palm trees. Maybe on this side we have palm trees or like one there maybe and one there. Just a little decoration. I still really like this statue. But <gasps> Oops. 33,000. No, let's leave. Oops. Let's leave it like that. Let's save the game actually. <laughs> Look at my amazing names. Re, 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 re. La, 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 la. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on, come on. Build. We can't go faster than that. But it is the night, which means that <laughs> our passengers will have to deal with our uh, floor reparations. Also, because we only have two employees. Oh, there we go. Look. Wind conditions worsening. Um, what does that mean, though? The Steam Weather Channel. I like that consistency ah they're better we know the direction of the wind wonder if we can do something about like for that this game has so many advanced things that like we are not seeing like even two percent of what the game kind of oh did you see that there was like a a police truck or something we can have multiple roads we can have parking lots we can have cafes and uh, lots of shops and different gates we can have fuel services and like sell our own fuel my poor little kitty is crying, yeah. <laughs> this mom is playing. Baby. Um, I don't know why I do well, I think you might have heard that my cat is actually deaf, so I don't know why I talk to him, but I love singing to him. <laughs> Give me a second. While we wait for that. Oh, here we go. He's back at my lap. We are going to have our first flight in three hours. No, four hours. Three hours, three hours. At six in the morning. And it will look terrible because <laughs> everything is under construction. I kind of want to keep building like more plants now. We have this area that is underutilized or... Oh, look, 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 look. Let's do a play. Oh, our first holiday makers. They used... Some of them went to the... To Mr. Beat Hunter and... Chris and AMMG Airlines, but her parents really like the airport industry. Here, oh, I'm sorry that now you have to see like this awful background, but we have people checking in. They have some stats. What? Um, oh, look, they have hunger, thirst, and need for information. They're very hungry, and we don't have. Oops, do we not have any food? Food bending. We don't. Uh, let's have a foot bending machine there and maybe one on this side there oh no they have to be built we're not gonna have them urgent urgent come on my two two builders trusty builders can't build them <laughs> oh there's a train light rail train capacity 150 because of course this is all um oh, what is it called you can only get like the number of passengers that the bus or the train says, no more. So if we have too many flights, you also need to hire more buses or create a bigger pickup area, install some seats maybe. I wonder if we should have some seats here, but I don't think people sit down. I think they just, they go to the ticketing kiosk and then they go through security. Let's go a little faster because our plane will be here any second. I want to see when it lands faster. It should land soon, actually. Maybe at five, if it's planned for six. Or maybe it just lands like five minutes before it... No, because they have to get into the plane. But okay, plane's not here yet. Plane. What is our first flight? Uh, star flight. Star flight. Are uh, you coming, star flight? Where are you, star flight? Mm. Oh, there it is. It's our little Embraer 195. And it has 13. No, there's not 13 people going in. It's all of these people. Which you can't see because everything is under construction. Oh, that's so satisfying. Okay, so they have to deplane and clean. There might be people coming off the plane, maybe. I don't know. Then they have to unload the baggage, load the new baggage, and board the people. 
So here is the deep planing. Seems like there are the, this, the orange stars showing what's happening here. Our first visitors. Right, because an airport is not just for leaving, it's also for arriving. I feel a bit dumb now, but it's like, oh my god, there's people arriving at the airport. Yeah, yeah, that's how airports seem to work. And they did what we were expecting. I didn't think that would work, actually. They used the security exit and they're going to the pickup zone, which is tiny. Um, before we do anything else, then... Do -do -do, zones. Uh, pickups. And we should add like some benches and some decorations. I, have, I don't know why they went outside to go in, but maybe something about the zone being new. I kind of feel bad that I, I fire all these people, so let's bring two of them back. I'm sure it's the same ones we said goodbye to before. And I have oh, we have people waiting for their luggage here. Let's also give them some benches. The, here we can do the the blue benches. So let's do one here. And maybe, no. Do people want to wear, wait next to the... Yeah, they want to wait next to the toilet. They don't mind. And maybe there. What do you think? Does that work? Oh, right. They have to be built. Urgent. I think maybe we will finish the day with the last flight. And we might call it a gaming session for now. Because I would love to know what you thought about this video. I'm a little scared about seeing uh, the comments. I still don't... Oh, look, that's a... Oh, there are also private vehicles bringing people in. Nice, nice. I wonder if there are taxis too. Oh, look at that. Look, they're queuing. <laughs> it worked. And they're going through security. And I really wish we hadn't done the floors because it looks awful for our first playthrough. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because it's working. It's working. What is that box? There are 25 stones in the restroom. <laughs> and... Uh, is that? Oh yeah, we are still waiting for our first flight to leave. Look at that, but people are three plus happiest. <laughs> happiest. And yeah, we're still waiting for our first flight to leave. So let's maybe... Oh, look, look, look. They're also using the machines. Well, I need to create a queue for the elect electronics vending. Really? You didn't bring your own electronics? We can, we can actually install another electronics vending machine. Where? Here? Yeah, next to the food. But maybe we give it some space because it seems like everyone is kind of uh, together there. I think they're queuing for two things because they, they do one and then they kind of go back to the queue maybe. Um, and this one is not built yet. They need food. Oh, look at that. Oh, information. They also need information. Mm, information. We can have another information display. This, this is where people get a bit anxious, I guess. Um, there? Right. It needs to be built. Everything needs to be built. Maybe high priority for the information. We said this was urgent, I thought. Urgent. Oh, look, look, look. Esther is bringing the, the luggage. They should bring it to the door. And our plane is leaving. Let's see how they use the taxi. Uh-huh. Oh, so this is the, this is the entrance. I drew it like in the other direction. Oh, look at the numbers. The numbers tell you which direction it goes. Okay, so first discovery. The runway doesn't need to be this long. It can be up to here because the plane went in here, and it doesn't need to be connected to the end of the, like to the edge or the to the sides. It can also be connected from the bottom. That's good to know. Because then, if we want to make the runway longer for bigger planes we can extend it in this direction and this taxi will still work oh we have the next flight arriving pacific airlines they have 22 bags that they need to load don't know how many people will fly in that one we'll see oh my god i think we need more seats um we can do more seats or sofas so what are they called benches yeah like I said, <laughs> um, there, and maybe, actually, we can have another one there. I know it's not ideal, I know it's not, like, super close, but I'm also thinking not everything needs to be matchy-matchy. Um, people's comfort should be more important. Hmm, okay, nice. 
and yeah let's go a bit faster let's see how people queue there are new arrivals i wonder if we can like make them go through shops and whether they will buy something if it was like a free shop they might there we have passengers going in the luggage is being loaded and uh, yeah, that's that's the sound the planes make when they take off. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Uh, why are they going like around? It's like there is an exit on the other side. We will we will deal with that soon. And what else? What are you doing? Why are you just standing there? Do you not clean or have you seen her walking around? Hmm. I know what I'll do. Um Let's quickly hire some lots of people to do the work that we need done. So you can see. Oh, oops. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I don't want to be bankrupt. Can we fire people? Eight people is plenty. Oh no. Oh no. How much do we get paid for per flight? Do we need more machines? Oh no. What do I do? Um. Uh, maybe we can cancel one of the ticketing desks. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Do we need a janitor? I don't think. Oh, there we go. So terminal usage and runway usage. We do get paid a little. Oh no. What if I need to finish the episode in bankrupt? Well, then I guess we could start again and try to do things better. Hmm. That, that's really bad news. Retail. We're getting very little money for retail. Minus 10,000. 46 hours. Mm. I don't know. I think we can make it. Maybe. We can make... What do we need? We need one more stuff. No. Why? Should we get rid of one of them too? There are so many security also. I'm thinking maybe we don't need all these people, but they don't get paid that much, right? No, they don't. Mm, oh no, that's even worse. <laughs> uh, well, tell you what, if I go bankrupt, the next video we can start um, from um, the same layout, just with more responsible finances and not so many. Maybe we can sell the decoration. Oh no, you can't sell them. Can you? No, yeah, you can sell them. What's the most expensive decoration we have? How much are these, like, decor? How much is this thing? 650. They're not gonna give us 650, are they? Probably not. Second hand. What about the metal detector? Uh, mm, I'm gonna dismantle it. And he left. Does it mean that I don't have to pay him anymore? Still stick security. You need one more. No, I don't. No, I don't because it will be dismantled. Maybe we don't need two. <laughs> oh, oh, no, it keeps going down. Can we Can we get a loan? Oh, we can apply for a loan. Can we? We can apply for a $1 million loan. No, I don't need that much. I just did like 100K? 100K. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. We survived, um, and we are in debt. That's fine. Who isn't? <laughs> okay, I think we can call it a day because we have one flight left. Let me see. Where are we? Does it not show where we are? It's four. It's five. Oh, so our last plane just left. Where are all these people doing here then? Did they miss the flight because I fired people? Uh, what? Are, can you tell me? No, everyone left. Maybe they were just sitting after they checked out. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, everything is fine. It's great. It's great. Look, it's not messy at all. And we don't need that many workers anymore because they finished doing the floors. Let's go back to two people. And I think that's it for today. We have the runway. We have one gate. We have a little waiting room. Nice little ticketing area, baggage claim. I think maybe for the next session, what oops, what we can do is start working on a second gate or put some lights on the runway. I think that costs a lot to have more night flights. 
maybe a bigger gate to have bigger planes or we can do the shops so you, actually you can you can let me know if you have preferences what you would like to see so shops yeah i, I left it in play but there's nothing happening just the bus going <laughs> up and down and art all just sitting there in the garbage zone <laughs> um shops more gates more flights or maybe work on the outside area uh, i guess we can do all of that those yeah but anyway let me know what you thought about this video uh it has no pauses no editing it's all a flow <laughs> and it's the first time i ever record something like this um yeah let me know let me know what you what you thought if it's not too mean <laughs> Because I'm very sensitive, because I love games and I don't want to be judged too harshly. I had a lot of fun. I, yeah, I did. I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. Um, hopefully you did too. Hopefully um, you want to keep playing this game with me. And if you want to see other games, just let me know. And any advice, uh, of course, I will be very, very happy to, to try to improve. Um, and... Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one when we start working on some of those other things. Uh, let's get Francois to say goodbye. The animation is amazing. Goodbye. <laughs>